Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making crock pot bacon cheeseburger tater tot casserole in a slow cooker. Um, I will leave the link for this in the description down below. Um, today I won't actually be using ground beef and bacon because I don't eat those, so I'm going to be using ground chicken and ground or and chicken bacon. All right, let's see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna start by browning the ground meat. So I'm using ground chicken. I've added some onion to it as it calls from the recipe. I'm also gonna add in some cut up mushrooms that I have. Okay. And now we're just gonna cook it until it's all brown and cooked. Alright, now that there's still a little bit of pink but it's mainly cooked, we're gonna add in the chicken bacon. It asks for 10 slices, so here's six and then it'll be four afterwards. Alright, so as the meat combination is cooking, we're going to make the sauce that we pour over it. So first we're going to start off with some milk. This is lactose free, 2%. So the recipe calls for 3 cups of milk. tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Excuse me, not being able to speak. Here's my tablespoon. Pour it over. It'll come out. Alright, let's just take the top off here. Ooh, maybe I can with one hand. You know what, let's just take it off. There we go. Alrighty. Oops. And it appears it does not like to be poured like that. Clean that up in a little bit. Then it calls for a hot sauce of your choice. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of sriracha sauce. And then we're gonna mix it. There we go. So that's gonna be the mixture that we add to the meat right away. All right, now that the meat is pretty much all cooked up, make sure there's no big clumps. I mean, if you like big clumps, then that's your choice. I like to have more food in the serving. And it's going to be less open. So, I know the chicken bacon does not look very cooked. It actually is cooked already. It was pre-cooked when I bought it. But you're just supposed to warm it up and, you know, make it crunchy or however you prefer. Also, it'll cook more when it's in the slow cooker. So, now we are going to add a third cup of flour to the recipe. So we cut flour. It's just to make it still kind of good and moisture in here. Alright, so let's turn this around. Try to coat everything with a little bit of flour. the flour in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. So now we're gonna add our milk mixture to this, and we're just gonna let it simmer a little. want to make sure that we add all of it and once it's added we want to make sure it gets thick if it doesn't seem to get thick within two to three minutes i suggest adding more flour there we go now we wait Alrighty. so as the mixture with the meat and the milk thicken i cut up some vegetables or some potatoes in the recipe it calls for tater tots. Um, I just want to use some fresh potatoes cut up, so I left the peel on. If you are gonna leave the peel on, make sure your potatoes are cleaned because everyone knows where those grow. Um, next, the recipe calls for some frozen veggies. I know you're supposed to add it in with the meat mixture, but I'm gonna add it in now. So I'm adding in like a bean, peas, carrots mixture, corn. Just gonna add a bunch in. Not the whole bit, so it'd be a little too much, I think. There. So about uh, three quarters of the bag. All right. So now that this is in here, we're gonna add the thickened meat sauce. Here, I'll let you guys see. It's nice and thick. So let's add it in. choose minimum which is low we're gonna cook it not for six hours so we're gonna bring it to three and a half hours so we're at one two three hours and a half and it starts now so now it's gonna cook and when the last 30 minutes comes up then you add some shredded cheese on top and let it cook for that rest of the 30 minutes and it should be done 